Tá belo. E o Motá é grande, hein? Olha o cabelo do cara também. Puta merda. Yeah. Now make yourself useful. And the first part of useful is not driving me insane with your constant complaining. Oh, say whatever you're doing well, please, man. I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. You come near me, sailor, and I'll slice you up. You put that knife down or you're gonna be missing a hand. Lee. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy <laughs> goddamn fishwife! <laughs> Enough, both of you! <laughs> well, come with me, then. You want to head out there? Run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping. Shut your goddamn mouth. You cool down then yet? I guess. No, I ain't no scullion. And I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweat halfwit. I guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. <laughs> Where's that letter? Well, you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. <laughs> Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> <laughs> you ever actually even talk to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. That's Dutch's idea. All male to be sent to the same alias. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Tirar da cozinha para fazer compra. 
Okay. Here we are. Canagem, né, não? What's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you. No. <laughs> I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws, not idiots. We rob fools and rob other people. These people are just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. No guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. É, tô com arma pra saber que vai dar merda. Que é a outra. Eu não sei se tem como pegar neles. Nada. Eu pago de passar de novo. Eu posso te ajudar, Mr. Sim, eu primeiro. Tá ruim demais. Olá, né? Too sober to smile. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Bye now. Bye and dandy. I burned foals with more strength than you. My sister's newborn had more strength than you, and he came out bright blue. I'm trying. Hey, you can't play stupid. My wife's been asking me about this for weeks. I think this is everything. Thanks. Here, take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I share all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and know nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm -hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook, please. Hey there! Hey. What, uh... What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in the Morn Raider country. Keep it cool. Steve. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? Go, go, go! God damn it! Get moving! Tome ali! Na cabeça de cá, na cabeça de. Oh, opa! Tá com a hein? Tá de hack. Tá mentindo, hein? Ah, mano. Que jogo mentiroso. Pedra bugada do cacete. 
good here, Arthur. You are enjoying this far too much. All right, I'll drive us back. A criação toma. What are you doing? We should get out of here. Oh, past those reins here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. Careful. We showed those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. Did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But maybe not. You sure you know where you're going? So who did they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Can't you go any faster? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbing Pearson about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind of Bobbles. Not a chance. Hey, watch it! Ah, falhou o piloto, hein? Yeah. Bate não. Sadler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I, I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe, <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but... I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> We got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. Arthur? You busy, Arthur? There he is, the man who saved my hide not once, but twice. What you want, Micah? Nothing. Just saying thank you, brother. I can't call you brother, can't I? I think I like you even less when you're friendly. You're the first person ever told me that. Mmm. Guess I'll go relieve one of the guards. Everything good? Hey, Javier. I heard about a house. Could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said... said it was really... freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. And they're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. But they're well hidden in the woods. That sounds pretty dubious. Of course, uh, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. It's up north, on the other side of the river from Valentine. This way there is through Cumberland Falls, though. You know it? Sure, more or less. Um trem preto ali na bug gráfico, vocês viu? Vou 
pegar só gelo pro saco. Ok, we're pretty close now. Let's stop and go on foot from here. Just up the hill this way. Follow me. sure we don't run into any surprises sure apparently this family's been isolated for so long they started talking in their own weird dialect they really don't like outsiders especially on their turf <sighs> well, you just keep selling me on this job don't you Big barn in the back. It's not a bad place to start looking. There must be a lot of people living here. A large house. This could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Boy, I, I think we need to draw them out somehow. And I got an idea. Follow me. All these trees? I can't get a proper look at the place. Well, hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us, too. Coast seems clear so far. Yeah, so far. Hey! Keep it down. I hear voices. Hide behind this shed. See if we can hear what they're saying. I's gone for 10 minutes, I was. You can hardly get gone now, day long, because Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? Yo, oh, Edie, get all the jam! You shut your gulper, or I'll flag her your felt, I will. You need to pull it up, boy. Up. Go guard the shed. Go! You understand what they're saying? Not much of it. What we doing, Javier? Okay, you take cover by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, and then you jump them, okay? What kind of distraction? You'll see.
Oi, oi, oi. Pelo amor de Deus. Tava vendo, cara. Has to be under here. There's no place else I could store it. Hey, Arthur, give me a hand here. I told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Yeah, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Right, sounds good. Esse aqui só pra ver de qual. Tá correndo esquisito, tá igual que
Agora tá ficando resistente. Eu morri, eu morri, eu morri, ó. Tá aguentando. Hello again. Que é cento e cinquenta, parece que é melhor que os outros. Pagada negócio lá da água. Então ficamos por aqui.